Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. Have you ever heard anyone say, I can't stop eating. I can't get off the sofa and go exercise. I can't find the time to read my Bible and to pray. I can't stop gossiping. Uh, I think we call that Facebook and Instagram today, right? But you know, we laugh at things like that. But what about when they, think, they start saying things like this? I can't stop fighting with my wife or my husband. I can't discipline my children like I should. I can't stop drinking. I can't stop using drugs. Uh, I can't stop having an affair. That gets very serious then. But what about if it's not other folks that are saying, I can't? What about if it's you? I can't. Now, if you are an unbeliever and do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the truth is you can't. You don't have the power within you. It takes Jesus within us to give us that power to conquer those I can'ts. But what about us believers, those that say I'm a Christian and we um, say I can't? Is it I can't or I won't? See, we have the power within us. It is Jesus Christ that lives within us that gives the power. We're weak, we're human. We're going to make mistakes and probably continue on making mistakes. But the power is in Jesus Christ. Now, I can use that scripture that you've heard so many times before. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. All right? But I'm not going to use that scripture because the truth is you need to study that scripture a little bit more. It's not I can do all things because I want to. It's that we do all things that Christ wants us to do. So check that scripture out. But the scripture I want you to look at is Isaiah 43 in verses 18 and 19. There are these precious words. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. What beautiful words. My wife has been going around singing uh, Waymaker. That's a song that's just in her heart. Uh, she said she was going through the store the other day, just singing along a Waymaker. He is making a way for us. Think about the beautiful thing. He is making a way for us uh, today and tomorrow. And so we can rejoice in that. But the key here is not just the Lord being our way maker. Look at verse 18 again. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. That's the key. The Lord is the way maker, but we have got to forget those former things. We have got to move away from our past. I'm not going to get to the top of these steps by staying here. One step at a time, I move up. Think about this. The Lord wants you up there. And he's going to guide you step by step. But forget the past. Forget about dwelling on those former things. Remember, he's made a way for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are the way maker and that you have provided your son to show us the way. Lord, I pray now for each person that's listening to this, that's watching this, that they'll realize the way has already been made. But Lord, they just need to move on from life, forgetting those former things, not dwelling on the past, but trusting you for today, step by step, in Jesus' name, amen. May you be encouraged this day.